Oh, grrr. So, the other day I made a video about why I'm endorsing Richie Torres. And in that video, I actually made a comment about somebody named Ruben Diaz Sr. Now, the reason why I mentioned Ruben Diaz Sr. is because I think he's going to be Richie Torres' greatest competition. Richie Torres doesn't have that super PAC money. He's not the corporate um, Democrat that Ruben Diaz is. But I wanted to share some information with you guys because, yeah, I'm against Ruben Diaz, but why? What is his stance? What am I actually against? You know? So these are some of the things I wanted to share with you guys because I think it's important for you guys to know and understand where I'm coming from. Okay? So, in 1993, he was appointed to New York City Civilians Complaint Review Board. And in 1994, wow, he was on the board. He was critical of New York City hosting the gay games, claiming it would lead to more cases of HIV infection and people understanding the gay community and accepting the gay community. So what does that mean? He's not for acceptance. He's not for diversity. He wants everybody to be a certain way. What really gets me to is he's running as a Democrat with conservative values. I don't understand that. How can you be running as a Democrat with conservative values? I am sorry for the glare of my glasses, but I'm reading a little bit, so I do apologize for that. However, just try to keep up. Try to keep up. So, how can you be running as a Democrat knowing the way the Democrat Party is going is leaning more towards the progressive, um, the, the progressive stance? How can you be running as a Democrat? Run as a Republican. Ruben Diaz, run as a Republican. Stop, don't run as a Democrat. Don't do that. And another thing that gets to me about Ruben Diaz is he's actually pro-life. Which is fine. You have the right to be pro-life. If that's what you believe, fine. Believe it. Live with that. But you should not be pushing your beliefs on me. Or any woman. I'm not a woman. But you shouldn't be pushing your beliefs on a woman. What a woman does with her body is her choice. It's between her and her doctor, or her, her doctor, and her husband. You, the government, does not have any right to tell a woman what to do with her body. Point blank, the end of period. So that's another thing that really bothers me about Ruben Diaz Sr. Now, I know what you're thinking. Because this happened in 1993, 1994. That was like over 20 years ago. Maybe he's changed. Maybe he's progressed. You know, that's what a progressive is. They evolve. You know, they, they go with the time. So let's see, let's let's see if, if he actually has progressed and, and evolved. So, as early as May 5th, 2011, he actually held a rally opposing same-sex marriage. Now, I don't know what you guys are thinking. This is 2011. It was eight years ago. But what's important about that rally is, do you know who was opposing that rally? Do you know who, was, who had a rally of their own opposing his rally, his beliefs? You'll never guess. You, you, unless you're in politics and you've been in politics for a while, you'll never guess. His granddaughter, Erica Diaz. And do you want to know why? I know what you guys are thinking. She's a rebel. She doesn't want us to hug grandfather. She doesn't want us to hug grandfather. No. She's a lesbian. She wanted the same rights that he had. She wanted the same rights her father has. Like, I don't understand. How can you be a Democrat and you're anti-LGBTQ? I don't get that. You know? And... That's what bothered me about Hillary Clinton back in 2016. She was anti-LGBTQ um, getting married until 2013. And everybody praised her like she was like some queen. Like this was the first time that you guys have ever heard about that. No, like she was actually opposed to it for years. And then when, it was, when, it, there, was, when there was something to gain from it politically, then she said, all right, I think you guys should be able to get married now because I want your vote. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, that bothers me a little bit, you know? And I did a little bit of, I did a little bit of digging about who his donors are, you know? Who donates to, to Ruben Diaz, you know? And everybody who donates to Ruben Diaz are conservatives, point blank and a period. They're conservatives. You have, you have Roger Hertog, he donated $11,000, a conservative. You have Sean M. Filer, $11,000, who is a conservative. Now, there is one group of people who donated to Ruben Diaz who I'm concerned about because they're a super PAC. 
which means they have a lot of money behind them, a lot of money, and they support him. So that's what's kind of concerning to me, but we can definitely beat him, we can definitely take him down, but the group that concerns me the most is the Catholic Count Pack. They concern me the most. They concern me because they, they're a super pack. How can a church be a super pack anyway? Isn't it like separation of church, of religion, and, and state? So how can a church be a super pack? I don't get that. Can somebody please explain that to me? How can a church be a super pack? But anyway, they actually are for him. They donate to him. They donated $10,000 to Rumidia Sr. We cannot have somebody like this in office. We cannot have somebody like this representing District 15 here in the Bronx. We need to have somebody who are here who's going to represent the people of the Bronx. Not the corporate donors, not the church, not the church, not, not the businessmen. We need somebody who's going to represent the American people, the people in the Bronx, excuse me. And we are going to find that in Richie Torres because he's already done that. He's already represented the Bronx in such a, a great way. And he can do even bigger things and better things if we all back him up. We cannot have Ruben Diaz Sr. as our congressman. We need to fight and we need to fight hard the same way we fought for AOC. It's the same way we need to fight for Richie Torres so he can be congressman, District 15, here in the Bronx. Hope you guys like this video. Share, like, and subscribe. Deuces.